Good morning, everyone. I wanted to show how to plant some cherry seeds and how I do it to germinate them so that you get some seedlings. I'll show you how I got some of my cherry seedlings. These are apricot seedlings that I've done the same way that I'm about to show you. Here's, you know, a five gallon container with a bunch of cherry seedlings. There's another one back there. These are all my apple seedlings. These are my crosses. These might end up being the varieties that are really good. But anyway, so what you want when you plant your stone fruits is you don't want your seeds to dry out. So once you've eaten your cherry, you don't want to allow that seed to dry out. So I left it in a bag. You notice it's, they're all moist. The cherries have just been eaten recently. They're all wet. And so what you want to do is get like a larger container, like a five gallon or bigger. I've also done it you know, in bigger containers like that, like 20 gallon, works fine too. But the five gallon, I think, is the smallest you want to go because, you know, they need room for a tap root. So you need kind of a tallish container. Just get some of your cherry seeds and space them out a little bit on the surface. And you want to put, you know, probably four times as many seeds in as you want plants to come up well probably more depending on your source of seeds and that's the other thing I wanted to talk about is if you can find a wild cherry or a wild apricot a wild peach those will germinate much more readily than a cultivated variety so these are these these were small cherries small wild cherries that I found in the park and I don't even germinate you know my large cherries because they just don't germinate well if you can find a wild source they'll they'll just germinate really well for you so lay them on the surface like that that's probably a good amount for this container and I, i'm guessing about like a quarter of these will germinate so even if you get you know a good source and you do it right um, you're probably only going to get like 25 percent to germinate maybe less but you know that's fine if you have plenty of seeds and then just get some mulch slightly composted wood chips and the the size that i have in my hand is normally works out really well the seeds will seedlings push right through that in the spring so these will come up for you in the spring you leave it you know the rest of the summer the rest of the winter you have to keep watering this container, make sure it's moist. It'll come up for you next growing season. I've just eaten the cherries. It's now July, you know, mid-July, and I'm planting cherry seeds. And that's really the way you want to do it because you can, I mean, you could keep them in a Ziploc in the fridge with a moist paper towel. Also, it works, but I found this method works much better. And... I've also, you know, tried to plant some seeds that have just fallen from under the cherry tree. Also fairly fresh, you know, but they just fell down and I, I picked them up and they were sort of dry and tried planting them also and they did not come up. So if you can eat your cherries and save the pits and don't let them dry out, then that's probably the best way to go. You can also use like sawdust to cover them so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna re re sow this bucket with these other cherry pits because those ones did not come up oh, you can see them right there so and there was a bunch of them I put a bunch of them in there they did not come up so even letting the seeds dry out slightly Planting them a little late affects 
the germination rate. I mean, cherries don't really like to germinate that well. So if you have wild cherries, it's better. Yeah, same thing. Spread them out on the surface. And the amount of mulch you put on top is probably, you know, two to three inches. You don't just want to do like a really, really thin layer because the, the top layer always dries out and you need these seeds to stay moist and they need to stay moist for months and months and months up until springtime when they can germinate. So I'm just gonna cover them. Cover them back up with the sawdust. Oh, that's my mulch in this bucket. So if you do it that way, you know, you'll end up with a container full of apricots or cherries or whatever you plant. Um, I have not found a source of peaches that germinates as well as some of my wild sources of apricots and cherries but what you can do with the peach pits is crack them out um, stratify them in the fridge and then when it comes to plant them crack them and just plant the kernel inside the shell and usually that will germinate for you i have not tried that yet but uh, i've heard a lot of people do that they'll just crack them out and it germinates but I found with wild cherries, wild black cherry, or just any wild cherry and apricot, they'll just germinate and you don't have to mess with them. Just put them in the ground and water the container throughout the summertime and they'll germinate quite fine. These are all my uh, rootstock cherries. This is Crimps 5. Uh, my seedling black walnut. If anybody wants a black walnut seedling in the wintertime, probably be selling some of these. Also black walnuts. Quick update on my pear and apple grafts. They're all doing pretty well. With the strawberries in between. I guess the only downside to planting the strawberries in between these grafts is if you have you know taller trees then it's fine but if they're fresh grafts and they're taking and they take a while to take like this has just a few leaves the strawberries will come up and the leaves will cover it and so I have to basically pull strawberry leaves off and weed around them but it's been nice to have strawberries to eat while you're checking on your grass. I would just like peek in here and eat strawberries as I'm working on cleaning up my grass and stuff. So it's not too bad. Here's some more of my apple grafts. So yeah, if anybody wants apple trees this winter, I'll have some pretty cool varieties of red flesh apples, long keeping apples, gold rush, Nova spy, rubiot, black strawberry, liberty, um, and a lot a lot more apples so you can contact me if you want some apple trees in this winter 